The idea of a vineyard in Scotland, let alone Fife, may sound strange to some. Yet I'm here in Upper Largo to talk to Christopher Trotter, who has gone against the grain with his plans to make Scottish wine. I'm here to talk to the man himself about his unusual project. It was an idea I had about ooh, probably about 10 years ago now when a friend said to me, you know, uh, we're going to have the climate of the Loire Valley in uh, 20 years' time, so plant your Sauvignon Blanc now. It took a wee while for a lunatic friend or a friend of lunatic enough to think this is a good idea. Um, four years ago, so we, we, we planted the vines then and, um, well, next year hopefully we'll make some wine. Obviously where we are, the most important thing was uh, we decided was early ripening because the winters can be quite harsh and uh, early ripening means basically being able to pick late September, early October. Um, so we were advised to go for three different varieties uh, called Solaris, Rondo and Sigriva and uh, that's what we planted. Scottish wine could become a more viable option as a global wine drought looms. It is reported that the international demand for wine outweighed production by 300 million cases in 2012, dropping to its lowest point in over 40 years. Could a Fife wine fill the gap? It would be great to think that we could cash in on that. Um, we'll produce such a small quantity that I don't think that really will make any difference. I think we'll be going more on the fact that it's the first wine to be produced in Scotland and on the magical year of 2014. When you consider that, what, 30 years ago English wine were the laughing stock of the world and now Nightimber is making a, a sparkling wine which is beating the French champagne um, hands down. So, yeah, I think Scottish wine stands a good chance. Some of the farmers uh, have laughed, me, laughed at me quite considerably, but actually when they come to visit they're laughing slightly less at the moment because the, the vines look so healthy and we've had very few we've lost. Um, no disease touch wood. I think it's the fantastic Scottish air. Um, there's always a movement, there's always a breeze, um, so we're not going to, we don't seem to be able to get the same kind of uh, botrytis which they can get elsewhere. Um, so I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see who's laughing on, the, on either side of the face next year. Scottish wine may always be a peculiar project, but hopefully this time next year, my glass will be full. Alison Gilchrist, The Branch. <laughs>